Hey man, can you please make a tutorial on this? So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So for this it's really easy to do. So first I have the clip of me just uh, walking with the phone and I'm listening to the audio and in the second footage I have me typing the text. So these are the two videos that I have and on screen recording of course I have me listening to the audio as one clip and in the second one I have me typing yes and in the third one I have me typing let's do it okay now in order to do this the very first thing you need to do is before you do the screen recording make sure your uh, chat wallpaper is set something to a color like yellow for that you can go to settings on whatsapp and under chat wallpaper there is a option called set color and where you can set in a color like this this is done so that you know you can key out this color easily so let's do that first so uh, let me select one of the screen recording and come to fusion then shift spacebar delta here and just drag and drop this to the background color like so so in that way we can you know get rid of the background now let's uh, copy this delta here and just uh, paste it to all our screen recording so control b and also on the third one control v so now the background is removed now let's do some cropping so let's come to the first clip i want only uh, the voice recording uh, chat to be visible so come to cropping and let me crop the top and then let me crop the bottom like so now in the second one and on the typing footage uh, i have made it to two separate one because you know you need to do a bit of keyframing on the cropping i'll show you so uh, let me get rid of this uh, particular line so crop bottom uh, something like this and also now let's crop the top now the issue here is you know once you type and you hit send since it's cropped you're not able to see this so which is why you need to do a keyframing on the cropping so let's uh, come here somewhere where you are about to hit send i'm going to hit a keyframe there then come to eight frames after that one two three four five six seven eight and then let me just decrease the top cropping like so now on the second clip also uh, you have to do the same so first let me fix the bottom crop like so and in the top crop you know i want to make the this particular word visible now let's see where the word is going up maybe here i'll put a keyframe here you know it's about to hit send then uh, come eight frames one two three four five six seven eight then reduce the crop like so so now it's okay now let's uh, smoothen out this uh, animation so for that come to keyframes you can see this keyframe already selected just highlight this and press this one to smoothen it out similarly on this one just highlight it and press this one so it's you know it's happening smoothly now what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight this too that is the text one where i'm sending the text message i'm going to highlight both and create new compound clip and this one i'm going to create a separate compound clip perfect now let's align it you know where uh, all the animation should start so i'm sitting and somewhere here this is where i want audio animation to happen so i'm gonna leave this here and then here i want to create the text animation here so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark the start and the end points so it'll be easy for you to work in fusion so let me just uh, see the timing is all okay maybe a little bit here 
let's press M on the keyboard this is the start point and this is the end point and for the text message this is the start point and this is the end point now let's highlight this both and right click new fusion clip then come to fusion a node like this will be created you don't want this let's delete this merge this merge let's delete the background now let's see what is this media just drag and drop it here so this is the main clip so I'm going to rename this to main clip and this will be the voice clip so let's drag the main clip to the media out and let's view that uh, here yeah it's okay and the very first thing is you need to do some tracking so select the main clip shift spacebar tracker press add and now where you want to track uh, select the point somewhere around the phone like so and change the adaptive mode to best match and then press this one this will track forward and reverse so let it do the tracking it's okay if the tracking goes out you know because the animation here is anyway not going to happen so it's okay if it just goes out of frame okay so once the tracking is done select the tracker come to operation change it to match mode what happens is once you attach this to this green uh, it will follow the tracking motion so I'm going to select it here so that uh, particular uh, voice clip you know it's it's right here we can adjust the position later it moves along with the tracking information so now let me view this here we want to change it to something like a hologram so for that shift spacebar luma key press add and to view it just drag it here it gets it uh, it makes it transparent you can change the contract here to make it little transparent once that is done shift spacebar soft glow and let's view that here if you think the glow is too much you know you can just reduce the gain and once that is done shift spacebar dve so in this is where you know you can position it uh, and change the y value to rotate it something like this so now you can see it, you know it's following the tracking motion of your phone now what you have to do is you need to do the keyframing you know uh, you need to uh, make the animation that is like only once I'm listening it should come and, and after that it should just uh, disappear so for that after DVE shift spacebar transform press add so the very first thing you need to do is adjust the pivot point so this is done so that every animation will start from the pivot point so I'm going to change the pivot point to the phone right here okay so now let's do the animation for that come to spline you have already placed the marker here so it will be easy for you come to the first marker and under size press a keyframe then go 8 frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 press a keyframe again and in the first keyframe you change the size to zero so what happens is you know once you hit play it just appears like this see nice and easy now let's repeat for the disappearing also so this is where the uh, i want it to disappear so i'll put a keyframe here then one two three four five six seven eight change the value to zero so now you have easy animation like so now you can make the curve smooth so for that just select this both press s on your keyboard also press t and make the ease in value to something like 80 it will have a very nice smooth curve also on the frame here press s on the keyboard and in this ease out change the value to 80 so now you have smoothened out the curve now let's close the spline 
and under transform you can come to settings and you can tick in motion blur and increase the motion blur if your computer can handle it i'm going to put the quality all the way to 10 and going to put the shutter angle also all the way up to 360. so you know once you hit play you have this nice motion blur also happening for the text message it's the same thing what you can do is you can just copy all this from luma here to transform just press copy then come to edit and now this is the text message uh, footage so let me highlight both new fusion clip then come to fusion uh, let me delete the background the merge same thing uh, this is going to be the main footage so let's rename that main footage and this one will be your text message same stuff and the very first step tracker so shift spacebar tracker and i'm going to track the phone you know repeat the same step change the adaptive mode to best match track forward and backward okay so the tracking is complete so come to operation change it to match mode now same step you know just let me paste whatever we copied in the previous one all these notes the text message i'm going to join to the luma here and the transform to the tracker now if i hit play you know the text message is happening here so you can come to dve and just change the position somewhere here perfect and the transform the keyframe you know uh, we have already placed the marker for the start and end point so we just need to move it to the appropriate marker uh, let's select the transform press this one to see where it is now you need to change it to this point and this point for that let me highlight both of this press shift and just move it like this until you see a blue indicator here yeah okay and similarly let's move this here okay perfect now if i hit play you can see you know you need to also change the pivot point because it's coming from here so let's change the pivot point to the phone here perfect so you know all the animations will start from there see nice and easy now you can add in you know the typing sound effect and you can add in the voice message uh, audio like here once this plays you can add in your uh, voice message here and then add in the keypad typing sound effect and everything will look really nice hey man can you please make a tutorial on this So if you guys are new here, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer, I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.